Hi, in this video, we will learn about macros in MS Excel. Macro is an advanced feature in MS Excel, which can be used to perform any repetitive and standard task in MS Excel. We have two types of macros in MS Excel. One is recorded macro, and second is we can write macro with VBA code. In this video, we will learn about only recorded macro, how to record macro, and how to execute the recorded macro. When we work on any task in MS Excel by using standard steps, then we can record a macro for these steps. And next time we want to execute the same task, then we can use the recorded macro instead of following all the steps. We use recorded macro to perform only repetitive and standard activities. So let's understand the recording of macro and execution of macro with the help of an example. I have some data here where I have name and salary. I will record a macro to calculate DA as 5% of salary for these candidates and bonus as 10% of salary for these candidates. So to work on macro, we need certain things to be there in MS Excel file. We need to ensure that we have developer tab in our Excel file. So how can we get developer tab? We can click on office button, select Excel option. And in popular tab, we can check this show developer tab in ribbon checkbox. If I check it here and click OK, we can say that we have added developer tab and we can see this developer tab. Now if I select the developer tab, we can see all the options available for working on macros in MS Excel. We have macros, recorded macros, macro security and different tools also when we want to write our macros using VBA. But here we will record a macro using recorded or record macro option. I will click on this option. I am getting this window where I can give name to my macro. I would like to give a relevant name so I would write DA underscore bonus. We need to remember that there should not be any space in the macro name and I have selected this workbook so that this macro should be working only in this file. We can write some description as well. Now I will click on OK and we can see that we have got another button stop recording. So whatever activities we will perform on this data, all the steps will be recorded by MS Excel and at any time we can click on this button to stop the recording. So let me perform some calculations equal to I will select salary multiplied by 5% enter I will drag the formula down equal to salary multiplied by 10% I will drag the formula down. Now I would like to select all the data. Copy this data. Control C. Then paste special as values. Now I would like to make total. I will use the shortcut key Alt and equal to sign. Here also I will use Alt and equal to. Control C, paste special as values. Now I want to give some color to these two cells. I will go to home tab, use the color option. I would like to give yellow color. So this is how I have performed few steps. Now I can go to developer tab and I will click on stop recording. So 
this is how we have recorded all the required steps now i will delete all this data i will also change the color of these two cells now i want to use the recorded macro i want to execute that macro so the shortcut key to execute any macro is alt and f8 let me write alt and f8 so i will press alt and f8 we get this window where we can see our recorded macro so i will click on the run and all the activities have been performed by this macro so this is how we can simply record a macro and we can execute the macro so let me record one more macro to delete the data from these cells so again i will go to developer tab then record macro now i will write data underscore cleaning i will press ok now i will select these cells and hit delete button and i will select this cell now i will click on stop recording so we can use now both the recorded macros to perform these two tasks first i will click alt f8 then i will use da underscore bonus i will click run all the data has been calculated now again i will press alt and f8 now i will use data cleaning macro and i will press run all the data is clean so this is how we can record a macro we can execute a macro and we can perform a standard task with the help of macros so thank you for watching this video in next video we will learn how can we write small macros using vba code thanks